Deploy a survey. Once you create a test in your survey canvas, you need to deploy the survey or make it available in the content area. Select a content area, hover over assessments, click survey, select the survey you want to use from the add survey list, then click submit. Set your options as described in the survey options below. Description. Instructions and special settings are described here, i.e. time limit, availability, quantity questions, etc. Open survey in a new window. The option of no is suggested so that students can't reference any of the course links for information to aid them in their survey. Make the link available. This will make the survey available to students. Add new announcements for the survey will automatically be added an announcement that the survey is available. Multiple temps. This allows students to take the survey more than once. You can set it up for an unlimited amount or a limited number of attempts. Force completion. This forces the student to complete the survey within the initial launch of it. Caution. If they encounter an internet issue, you may need to reset the student's attempt. Set the timer. This option provides students with a time limit to complete the survey. Please note that the student will be allowed to complete the survey past the time limit allowment. There will be a notion in the Grade Center that the student exceeded the time limit and how long he or she took. Note that there are further information about using survey timers next to the icon for this video in the Blackboard shell. Display after until. This is a time restriction allowing the instructor to limit students' access to the survey. Be sure to use both the display after and display until calendars and clock icons. Password. Select this option to require the password to take a survey. No spaces are allowed in the passwords. This is a good option when the student needs to make up a survey. Due dates populates course calendar. This is an attempt in an alphanumeric field that has no control of an item and availability. Survey feedback. Status taken or not. Submit answers. Recaps answers submitted by the student. Survey presentation. All at once presents the entire survey on the screen to the student. One at a time displaces one question at a time. Students are given a navigational tool to move between the questions. Prohibit backtracking. This option is used in conjunction with one at a time and prohibits the student from changing their previous answer. Randomized questions. Questions that are displayed in a random order each time the survey is taken. Click the full grade center and hover over the column heading for a survey. Complete surveys will be given a green check mark in each individual cell. Click the drop down menu next to the column heading. Choose Download Results. Choose comma delimited files to download in an Excel format or tab delimited to download as a text file. For this example, we'll choose comma. Choose however you want the results to be formatted in the download by user or by questions and users. Choose to download only valid attempts or all attempts. Then click the Download Results button. A dialog box will open asking if you want to use an Excel file document. We'll say OK. We'll see everyone's responses to the survey without seeing whose responses they were. Export or import a survey. You may want to choose to export or import a survey. To export, go to Course Tools, Test Surveys and Pools, click Surveys, click the contextual menu next to the item to choose Export, save the zip file to your computer. To import, go to Course Tools, Test Surveys and Pools, Click Surveys, click Import Surveys, click the browser for Local File, choose the zip file and click Open, click Submit, click on OK, 
The survey will be added to your surveys area.